What's up everyone? I go by the name Carlton. You're listening to Career Talks now on Shikaji. You might be watching as well because you have a YouTube channel right now and it's called Career Talks now on Shikaji. So please show some love, subscribe, comment, leave a like. And also, if you want to get connected, you can follow us on our Instagram. We go by the name Career Talks underscore now on Shikaji. Na nimpitishe sasa mpira my co-host Haya ba, mimi nitajiongeza na kujitambulisha maana huko nipo nafaza kujitambulisha. Naitwa Salim. Nice. Paka sasa ndo kwa mshanifa, mshanijua. Let's go. So today's episode tutakuwa tunaongelea graduate roles or advanced degrees. Which one should you take? Let's go in. Namba mbuzi swali. What do you prefer? after you will go and start to work uh, or advance to masters well, when you listen come and pop in and come and nenda say we kuchagua either work or masters but from my point of view mhm inategemea kwa sababu mtu kama daktari eh i think it's better off am aunganisha tu kusema miaka 7 aunganisha tu bana malizie hiyo mmoja si mimi but from my point of view is going to work is, is much better compared to doing masters kwa nini kwa sababu at the end of the day si tunasoma ili tupate kazi si ndio and uh, going straight from from your undergrads to your masters without even having an experience how sure are you in the passion yako how sure ukienda kwenye work environment ya hicho kichagua you're going to enjoy. I mean I think it's better off if you have an experience at least mwaka mmoja uone kwamba okay this is what I want. I'm focusing in this. I'm staking on this. So that's my point of view. What if what if you had your internship ukiwa mwaka wa pili? Ukaenda ukaona like ina kazi na inayotaka. Umemaliza chuo au labda umemaliza mwaka tatu kaenda kwenye placement obviously we'll get deeper into why but i think the first thing to consider is work then comes elimu if unasoma kwa sababu ya kufanya kazi kuna wengine unajua na ni passion ya kusoma kwa sababu labda unataka kufanya kwa research kama kwa kweli unataka kwa research bro do it phd ipo hapo tu near the corner you can actually get there and get a second master second degree the world is open for a lot of opportunities eh vipi hapo kwanza no no many come here nikuulize personally ni cha support wewe kwamba yeah kama unasema wewe naamini kwamba all of us tunasoma ili tujue kufanya kazi kwa kama una opportunity of kufanya kazi kwa nini wende kwenda kuendelea kusoma ila unaweza ukaendelea na masters ili ukija kufanya kazi usianze huko chini ambayo ni ideal sana yani una experience eh una experience for yani ni kitu ni kitu ambavyo ndio imewekwa hivi kwa bana mtu ambaye ana masters akija aanze huko chini anaanza kwenye management level ila to be fair kapige kazi so by the end of the day ya yeah, wale ma top managers wataangalia mtu ambaye amekaa pale kwa muda mrefu ndio ili wa promote kujia kwenye position kubwa kuliko mtu ambaye kisa una masawa hata watu wenye PhD wengine wakati kuna anaanzishwa chini although muda ambao utatumia wewe kufika juu utakuwa ni, ni muda mchache kuliko mtu ambaye ameingia tu na degree yake ya yeah, kwa ila mimi bado hapo kwamba kazi over masters na wewe watch your thing watch your thought umemshtua <laughs> watch your thought i hope we can get you, we, can, we can get your point of view kwenye comment section below there So tunaanza hivi. Let's say you've decided to actually go for graduate roles. This is some tips and tricks from what we think you should do in order to be more successful when you kutafuta these opportunities. Number one, I think it's important to research hiyo sehemu unataka kwenda kufanyia kazi. Kwa nini nasema hivi? Obviously, let's say ukapata let's say ukapata interview Obviously they'll ask you a question like why do you want to work here? 
unatakiwa uwe critically analy- analytical kwamba unaonyesha kwamba you are really passionate kufanya kazi pale sio kwamba tu wewe bana ume apply kwa sababu you're looking for a job unaonyesha kwamba you're passionate about working there you know why you chose them and kwa nini unaonyesha uno, uno kabisa kwamba bana you are determined kufanya kazi na wao jinsi gani ya ku connect na wao you can use news you can use linkedin you can search them on linkedin over sasa tutakuwa na page sawa you can go there uka ukajifunza ku, ku i mean uka, uka, uka angalia their news their updates unapata kujua like how their activities kwenye kampuni zinaenda success zao over sasa kama tutakuwa na success watakuwa na zipost sabuni marketing you can actually keep those records siku ukifika pale kuuliza swali kama hilo au hata kwenye CV yako au kwenye cover letter unaweza kukichomeka chomeka tu uonyeshe kwamba this is more personal sio kwamba nime it's one CV for everyone nime nimewatumia na nyie pia website za website utakuwa na website nenda kwenye about page pale watakuwa wanajielezea ukitoka kwenye about page nenda kama squeeze most of the companies in a CSR activities ingia pale Peruz fatilia like what activities wana ufanya ku preserve the environment hata kama i mean we have to care about the environment for the future so make sure unaingia pale unaangalia wanafanya nini hata siku ukutana nao hata kama sio sababu unaofanya kama unafanya pale kazi sababu unataka mawe yeye unawaambia mimi nataka kufanya kazi hapo kwa sababu nimeona mnapanda miti kila mwezi it's passionate i mean that's how you sell yourself from my point of view secondly Eh, job websites and ukiingia kama tanzajob.com ajira tanzania ajira online obviously ukiingia sehemu kama hizo naamini utakuwa unapata kuona roles ambazo zi, wa, makampuni wanatafuta it's a good way to actually stay ahead na kujua opportunity gani unaweza ka apply U, ukaanza ku apply kupitia kwa so lazima upitie connection yeah. na vitu kama hivyo njia nyingine if you actually know where you want to work a good way is connecting with the people who work at that organization or company before even applying kupitia linkedin kama una social media zao zingine exactly obviously ukifi una 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 connect now una uliza uliza maswali vp how is the company unajua more eh so kila mtu atakujibu obviously but so kila mtu hata kujibu pia so try your level best una pursue una uliza huyu na muuliza yule na muuliza ukiuliza watu kama hivyo uweze jua i mean inawezekana ndo aka ndo ndo akawa ndo recruiter akasema namjua mwanangu huyu hapa yuko determined sababu umemfuata kumuuliza maswali au akakuconnect vitu kama hivyo obviously that those are the routes to actually go to kutafuta kazi but also nyingine you can connect kupitia networking events i think we spoke about this on our networking how to network in universities probably to go kwenye link nita try to watch the video as well to get some more insights so yeah um kitu kingine before applying for these graduate roles how placement ampia usi ikiwa sana kwenye makampuni ambayo watalia ameshaendelea makubwa makubwa take your time to apply on those um nyanzita startup companies au labda the small firms mhm au the small firms yeah kwa, kwa sababu haya makampuni kwanza standard zao sio kubwa kama zile ambazo ni makampuni makubwa afike tu kingine kwamba hazina competition ya watu wengi na watu wengi wa hawaziangalia hizo kwa unaweza kupata kiu rahisi lakini pia hizi startup companies zitakuwa zina kazi nyingi kwa na kuwa na kuwa more experienced sometimes hata ile um, nini project yako inaweza ikapana mapema zaidi kompare hizi kampuni kubwa tena mazo zishaendelea kwa hiyo ya however of course utakuwa unapata kazi nyingi kwenye hizo startup companies ila at the at the same time unataka kuwa creative sababu unakuwa kuna limited resources kwamba you have to think outside the box ili kupata the same um the same in the same result as yale makamu na bachelor shendere na wana wana advanced technology kwa hiyo yeye anakusaidia 
could develop your creativity skill na unafa more experience at the same time yeah na pia unajua hii niliona moja hii anasema kwamba ukifanya kazi kwenye kampuni yani ukiwa na apply kwenye kampuni kubwa for a graduate role unaweza ukawa unapewa pay ndogo compared na startups kwa sababu wale wanajua hiyo pay ndogo ile anagombania na watu bao wakati huku startups wao wanatafuta watu yeah. so inawezekana tu kama unatafuta a good pay it's better off to taf- kutafuta start about small companies sababu wao ndo they are trying to get those people to develop their company ila sasa kwenye startup huko ni utapinda mugongo pinda mugongo kazi kibao kama ulivyosema so you should definitely be working hard um something else ukiona apply ukiona unajaribu kutafuta hizi graduate roles yeah. try to see and know the organization culture the iso company research on their culture kwa jinsi ethics zao wanavyofanya kazi na vitu kama hivyo na angalia kama it's truly where you want to work you know ni leo unaweza kukuta ni sehemu ambayo unakuta ni msabato utaki kufanya kazi on a saturday on the kind of concern on a saturday lakini kwenye hiyo kampuni saturday ndio the hardest days to work ndio day unatakiwa po kazini siku nzima so research pia consider kuangalia vitu kama hivyo kwa sababu ili unaweza ndio mostly sababu nimekuja ku realize mostly sisi ndio tunajaribu kuonesha kwamba we are right fit to the mm-hmm. company but we are not considering if they are right fit to us so we should definitely try to also check it from that angle tuangalie kama sisi kweli waraundo tunawataka moreover hapo kuongelea hapo so I, i'd say also ukiwa na research research long term mpata kazi angalia pia ukiwa na i mean obviously kama kazi zote hazina the long term goal that you want obviously utakuwa unatakiwa zi rank so I'd, i would suggest ranking top zile ambazo kuna much greater room for you to grow in the company and get promotions aya na kingine alichoniambia kaja advice yangu when you are actually applying kutengeneza spreadsheet so kwenye hiyo spreadsheet tuandike skills ambazo hiyo kampuni tunayoapply wanataka skills ambazo wewe unazipossess kwenye hizo hizo list job responsibilities and status ya application yako kama umeshajibiwa au umejibiwa au umekataliwa umekubaliwa au kama ulipewa response hapo ukishafanya hivyo inakuwa ni njia rahisi yawe ku track application zako for a long term like excel pale kila ukifuki apply una kuna kuhamisha pale kila ukiapaye unahamisha pale kila ukiapaye unahamisha pale in the long term itakusaidia kwenye ku reflect kwamba okay kampuni zilizonijibu ni hizi ni kwa sababu gani you can know from there kampuni zilizo ni ambazo zimenikataa direct ni hizi kwa sababu gani you can reflect from their skills unaangalia okay skill okay na pia it's a better way kujua ni skills gani wewe una lack ambayo most of the companies wana require au wanataka so you can pick the skills that you want and develop yourself in those in those angles unajua pia ukiingia kwenye kampuni gani hata ukija ukijibiwa unaweza unajua mostly mtu kama mimi nilikuwa na apply internship mwaka wa pili nilikuwa si try kwa hiyo sijui nimejibiwa na nani sijui sijibiwa na nani si sijui nani natakiwa nijibu baadaye kwa hiyo you don't even know what's happening in your application so it's better off uki track hivyo ukishazipanga hivyo unakuwa unajua kabisa kwamba okay huko nijibu ndio should i wait for this one kuna wewe mwingine ambaye anatakiwa nijibu pia should i wait for them or not una compare yani unakuwa una room ya kujif, ya ku reflect from your previous applications ili u develop for the future ukisana na excel kwenye ku apply pia it's important to actually know what role you want to apply for or at least act like you know and do research on them kwa sababu uka apply ukapata ukafika kwenye interview watataka kujua how much you know about that role ukiachana na how much you they want to know that you know about that draw wewe mwenyewe kwenye ku apply kwenye cover letter yako you have to add yani unatakiwa uonyeshe ujuzi wako kuna ujua kwenye hiyo role so kwenye hiyo role so obviously you'll have to make sure you had a critical uh, what's this 
you had a critical research on that role ukakagua ukapitia huku kaji ukakusanya huku kupitia hizo network zako kupitia google sikuzi cha gpt ukakusanya wote afu ukaja ukaweka mtukati probably ukiweka kwenye cv kwenye cv au kwenye cover letter specifics za your role unaonekana more determined ndio tunaambia career advice wangu lastly kwenye hii sector tafuta kwenye ku apply try to con- familiarizing yourself with the test kuna personality test kuna numerical test kuna situational test kuna no, psychometric test enam kuna behavioral eh, kuna behavioral test try to actually make sure you're aware of what questions they ask sidhani kama masuala yanakuwa gani mapya sawa so, inaweza kuwa nabadilika ila ukifanya masali mengi you, you'll know how to tweak yourself na kuweza kujibu obviously sio kila swali utakalokuja kwenye test kwa ni jipya kwako na itakuwa inakusaidia ujue kabisa kwamba wanatafuta nini from this so you will know how to answer those tests unlike unaingia pale for the first time all right na wana pamoja sana airtime career advisor wako all right safi so, um, yeah mimi nasema kwamba ni vizuri kuwa na career advisor au supervisor fan ambao umemweka umemania ndio kama dedicated au umemomba wewe dedicated kufuatilia mambo yako ya application za college jobs au placements au internships kwa sababu hao watakusaidia kwamba on how to find more companies au more job opportunities kwamba watakuwa wanajua some other search engines za kupata hizo au some other some other platform za kupata hizo um job opportunities tukingine kwamba wataka kusaidia um with your cv niseme with your cover letter with how to answer those um in your specific questions so kwa zile kwamba unaulizo kwamba kwa nini una apply kwa nini kama kwa video ni kabla essay kwa sababu kusaidia on how to include in your essays tukingine kama tunaweza kusaidia hawa ma supervisors au ma career advisors kwamba aza aza kwa na network yake au wao wataka kusaidia kwamba kama unasema kwenye episode ya nyuma kwamba um nini <laughs> job nyingi zinakuwa fill even before being published yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, as long as yeye ni career advisor au supervisor anza kwa nafuta na makampuni tofauti tofauti sababu anakuwa anaaminika na kutana na watu wengi kwa ya unaweza kutengeneza relationship nine nzuri ambao anza aka recommend kwa makampuni ambayo yanakufuja mbele yake kama na kijana fani huyo na ana hiyo hiyo ana nini ana profession hiyo hiyo kwaanza kafaa kwenye hiyo slot na ukapata vizuri tu na one of the important thing ya kwamba utakuwa utakuwa una apply kwenye same nyingi sana kwa hiyo obvious ni kutakuwa kuna rejection nyingi sana sako hicho kitu ni cha ku expect kwamba sio kwamba una apply one sio kwamba sito sito kosa same mtu mmoja na 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 kutakuwa same nyingi tu kwa hiyo yeah one of the important thing kwamba how you react to those rejections kampanyaanza kwa kupata kesi kwamba si apply tena you know I mean well yeah ukipata hizo rejections usione kwamba you wasn't go enough sababu kuna factors nyingi it's either you was late au labda um algorithms zilikukataa because before application yako kufika kwa HR manager na pia same thing kwa ma sometimes na kwa computerized kubana watu wana namna hiyo wanakuwa hawaje watu wana na endo zipo zipite kwa hiyo ya do, do not lose hope just keep fighting na kitu kingine um reflect on your CV cover letter ili kubadilika badilika usitumie the same idea kwenye um job application for to fault no I hope that was helpful for the the people who actually were trying to get into graduate roles au tafuta entry jobs but kwa wanangu na mimi ambao tunataka kuendelea kupiga advanced studies i don't know what much to explain to you guys kwa sababu there are different roles there are different courses so i can't speak about one course specifically and kila mtu ana sababu yake kwa nema mmekuendelea kusoma but there are some reasons that if you actually these are the reasons that you are doing number of kire mara mbili the first reason is if you definitely want to do your father studies because unaogopa kitaa that's scam bro badilisha mindset yako 
Kita akitishi hivyo. <laughs> akitishi kama hivyo wanavotuambia. I mean obviously ku transform from mwanafunzi kwenda kujitegemea unajua kabisa obviously pale utakuwa utakuwa na stress nyingi but hata kama ukienda masters utamaliza pia so so kama una avoid ni kama una, una extend to mda. and it doesn't make sense unaweza kupoteza kwanza mwaka mmoja hau enjoy hicho kitu unachokifanya kwa sababu umechukua kwa sababu tu kama nafikiri hata baada ya hapa ndio exactly so it's better off you actually just find a job kingine if you i don't know kama sasa hivi bado kipo chikipo if you're just doing it ili uwe na title kwamba na mimi ama masters holder mimi nasema wewe ushamu from my point of view so kama unasema kwa sababu unataka kuendelea kusema because of the title i i think you should rethink doing that and lastly but not least kwa wanangu na mimi ambao tunasoma because we want to get more cash after doing a master consider kwa sababu kuna fields zingine unaweza kuwa unatumia la nyingi kuliko the increase unaopata comparing masters na undergrad na if if that makes sense manisha ulivomaliza undergrad ungeenda kusoma ukilipwa mshahara A na au usiso usifanye kazi umalize undergrad uende masters mshara bi wa master ukikompare na a ni mna tofauti amna tofauti kubwa ukikompare na investment uliyofanya kusoma hiyo master so do research pia na kwenye that angle kuna kitu nimeuna kwa sema 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 it's it's hard to get the exact numbers kwa mtu ambaye analiza master na kwa hiyo kuna maana hapo ni usifikirie pesa tunarudi kwenye networking Yeah, networking sawa. Ila ni bado ni vigumu sana kupata the exact numbers kwa sababu ana mtu ambaye amaliza hivi na kwa hesabu mwisho siku. Um kampuni zao na policy za hapo pesa pengine na kosa kuzabalika kutokana na maybe hali ya uchumi ya muda huo. Unaelewa? Kwa maana kama nafikiri kwa kipindi cha mtu ambaye akapiga masses na akapiga gacha la zote anapata sawa. Kwa hiyo yani vigumu kwa hiyo kama yani Sony kwa sababu ni vizuri kuingia ku, 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 kufanya advanced degree with the motivation of earning more kama like wala kupata more information au da kujua zaidi au ku um, ku specify kwenye field fulani na hiyo ni motivation tosha kwa advanced degree una lingine la kuwashauri wanangua masters au phd i mean kaka kama kama alivyosema ndugu yangu hapa usi some kwa ajili ya title kama usitaki wewe oh, achane ngie PhD ili ni nito tu doctor doctor flani sababu oh, doctor tu zana dia watu hata <laughs> wa heshima kwa hiyo kwa hiyo first na kesa kwamba ukaishia unafanya unafanya research kitu ambacho haukuwa na passion nacho ukao na hiyo mwaka sija umekamili ya PhD kwa hiyo kwa na mirefu sana na miguu sababu PhD ni kisa kwa sababu unafanya research kuja na kitu ambacho aidha nini ni tu ya bado tufanye tufanye kwa seminar ya PhD. Asema eh eh nikaangalia nikaona sawa ni kitu ambacho ni kizuri kufanya kuna ni kitu kama no kama kweli una kitu ina motivate fanyia research. Yeah so kama from nowhere sababu tu tumekuja kwa seminar na kuna tu doctor means acha basi na mimi ni kafafuta ni mimi. Yaani PhD sio kama dissertation bonaza ukapata topic na mwalimu na ukafanya. Hiyo hapo ni kitu unafanya mwaka mzima. Usije kwa kwanza wewe kitu macho bidi uje na chao mwenyewe. Si kwani ni topic mbichi ime okay hiyo ni PhD ila ya usiruke vitu kwa kutaka title tu. Na ningependa kukazia hapo. Hasa kwa wale ambao wanakaribia kuingia kwa PhD kuwa motivated doctor tawa heshima huko anaweza kupambania na tuna kaza hivyo Ash already not normalized with quotes and memes so leo bwana mkutano na dangu jeli sa ink twitter huko anasema hivi once a person makes it obvious that money is the sole motivation for everything they do i mentally check out they have lots of developing to do vip would you check out I want to check out but na na ninaelewa kwa nini amesema hivyo. So sina zawani okay kwa nini amesema hivyo. Kwa sababu mtu ambaye 
yani anachukulia pesa no kila kitu na kama mtu fedha ina pesa huyo ni mtu ambaye yani utu anaweza kupata kiura hisi sana yani kama pesa yake ina kwa anaweza kufanya chochote kile ili apate pesa kwa nini si to check out kwa huo mimi nitachagua kupika au kuchoose positive side ya hiyo attitude kwa hiyo binafsi naweza nika mtumia huyo mtu kujifunza au kuona how hard working he or she can be kwamba huyo mtu how passionate anaweza kuwa mali tuwapate pesa kwa anaweza kuchukua ile positive side yake na kupotezea negative side yake ndio kwa nimeelewa sana eh kwa na mimi naomba nikupee coach afu nipe comment yako cha chat tajaribu Um, nasema motivation beats laziness alafu discipline beats motivation alafu lastly obsession beats discipline twende line at a line motivation beats laziness mm-hmm. yeah. i mean motivation beats laziness kwa sababu zipo siku we are motivated to do something yeah. right? mm-hmm. those days will definitely be laziness lazima takuwa kwa mfano unakuta na mkale leo mimi na hamu ya kusoma unajua ndio kitu kama hivyo so literally hizo ndo siku utakuwa motivated to be your laziness na kutoka kitandani na kufanya mambo yako but motivation sio kila siku we know that right yeah. utakuwa zipo siku upo down those are the days that you need discipline that's why discipline beats motivation kwamba ukiwa discipline you'll definitely stick to what you want and do it day in day out leo taifanya kesho taifanya hivyo hivyo like you would definitely still do it the way you want it to be done kwa sababu you are disciplined but obsession ukifanya ukiwa disciplined kuifanya muda mrefu you'll be obsessed with it and that's when obsession beats discipline kwamba umeisha kuwa your new normal that's your new habit so that's how i understood and that's how i could say to you agree um after saying all of that ngependa kusema that's all we, we had for you guys today hope you got some insights hope umejifunza chochote kitu pale so ningependa kusema if you have any comments leave it in the comment section there or you can even text us or comment in our page in ig we go by the name career talks underscore and yes till next time